Good evening and welcome one and all to a brand new season of DXB Today, where of course we will be serving up more of the same after the celebrations of the Long Eid. We are back, it's back to work, it's back to school and it's back into studio. Here's what's coming up tonight. As the 28th season of Global Village is underway, we sent Louie down with her family to check out their latest attractions. And to start the season in true DXB Today style, our favourite award-winning artist, Jay Abbo, is going to be joining us right in the studio. We're back. How exciting. How are you, Thomas? I'm very well. All the, all the happier for seeing you guys. Well, it's been a long, what is it? It's been, it's good, been a bit of five weeks or so. Ramadan into the long E break. Yep. Lots has happened. Uh, and obviously we're going to be touching on a lot of that over the course of the next 60 minutes, but very much looking forward to the next two months. It's going to be... Busier. It is going to be busy. It's been wonderful having that long Eid break, as you say. I mean, I love telling people who don't live in the UAE, just a casual <laughs> nine day public holiday. Dina, you enjoyed it to the max. Oh, I mean, Tom went to Sri Lanka. I went to Japan. It was incredible. My kids have been dreaming of going there and we had the most spectacular time. And we went to Super Nintendo World, which has been on my bucket list forever. Absolutely. But yeah, I'm happy to be back. Dubai's back in action. Ramadan here was beautiful. Eid was amazing. Yeah, I stayed here. I didn't travel at all. I, it was one of those things of, I felt a little bit like FOMO because I wasn't traveling. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to try and do loads of stuff in Dubai that I haven't done because I've been here. It's my 17th Ramadan and there's lots I haven't done. So it's mm. all exciting stuff. It is going to be a busy one. Obviously, a start of a brand new season here on DXP today. And we're going to try and give you a good flavor. We have a, we understand that we have a very diverse um, uh, audience out there. So if live entertainment's your thing, great. If business is your thing, great. Uh, if food and beverage is your thing, then great. We've basically got something. And, and that's the point I made at the beginning, is that it's quite a short period. You look at the end of this Eid, or leading up to sort of mid-June for the next Eid as mm. well. Uh, then we're straight into the summer. So organizers, and we're going to be meeting a few, will be wanting to do as much as they can over the course of the next they week. Are and we've got what we've got the comedy festival coming yeah. up. And in case you guys did not see this somehow on Instagram, we have an exclusive with Basim Yusuf coming up very, very soon. Uh, a couple of our presenters were caught on his Instagram doing a little dance. So yeah. Um, a viral sensation. It was, it was so good, actually, a little <laughs> bit jealous. And of course, as always, it's not just going to be us in the studio. We're going to have some incredible guest co-hosts all throughout the season. But for today, shall we find out who we've got? Hi, I'm Farah Andrews, head of feature at The National and co-host of Culture Bites podcast. And I'm super excited to be here today. But I will join us right here in just a little bit. But first, from dynamic ninja courses to graffiti, gravity to fine coasters, let's take a look at some of the fun activities and new adventures that Louis explored down at Global Village. Check this out. When you think of fun outdoors and Dubai, Global Village is a must on anyone's list. It's not just about the food and the sights, but definitely the many activities for the whole family. And when I say many, I do mean many. Maybe a bit too many for just one person. So I've got some backup. Yeah, I got my kids with me. Are we ready to go around Global Village? Yeah! Let's go. If you want enough energy to enjoy the thrills here at Global Village, well, you need an easy taxi. This is our trusty ride to take us from one adventure to another. Easy Taxi is your ticket to convenience and fun. So hop on and let's just enjoy. Go! First stop, we're gonna tee off in style here in mini golf where you can choose between an exciting nine hole course or an exhilarating 18 hole adventure. Let's check it out. And now for the main event, Neon Galaxy. It's got 10 thrilling activities that's sure to be an adventure for all ages. From ninja courses to coasters, it's fun for everyone. You gotta try this, come on. Do you think I'm gonna scream louder than my son? I don't know. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> so 
so it's gonna be the old. Okay, not so old. <laughs> Versus the young. Let's see who's gonna get to the top first. Are you ready? Yeah. Can you beat me? I think so, yeah. Okay, let's go. Our last stop is the Cyber City Sun Show where Legion 5 troopers battle it out with a malevolent overlord to save the city. Let's go, guys. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of fun. Did you have fun, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. My other son had so much fun, he decided to just stay and play. But you know what? That was just a sneak peek of the many thrills and adventures waiting for you right here at Global Village. Now, whatever you choose to try, one thing's for sure, it's best to enjoy it with people you love. And of course, it's fun for all ages. But if you want to find out more family adventures, make sure you stay with us on DXV Today. Only Louis de Costa can turn a work assignment into a freebie for the entire family. <laughs> She's nailed it. Great fun night. I, I, look, as a mom who presents with kids, I can tell you that must have been a lot of hard work. So way to go, Louis. I am proud of you. <laughs> a global village in all its glory there. Just one of a number of things that, of course, can entertain you and the family. Let's get on to uh, finding out more. Who better to ask than our guest co-host today, a distinguished journalist and editor, renowned for her insightful storytelling and leadership in the media landscape. Prominent figure in the world of journalism, committed to highlight diverse cultures of our region. Please welcome to DXB today, Farah Andrews. Farah, thanks so much indeed for joining us. Thank you so much for a lovely intro. And right. that was a really it was <laughs> amazing <laughs> intro. Well done, Farah. You every single day if you want. Yeah, if you can. That, yeah, that no could be my alarm. Perfect. You no would. Thank all. you. Yeah, we could do that. Big <laughs> you up every time. Thanks. Uh, listen, first of all, I mean, obviously we are going to focus a lot on the future and we're going to look yes. ahead to what is going to be a busy couple of months. But before we do that, only right to reflect on the past. How was Ramadan for you and the team at the National? I mean, it did not slow down. Nothing. I think long gone are the days where we're kind of, oh, we going to have a quiet Ramadan, things are going to be slow. No, not at all. We had a very, very busy, um, nothing really changed. Mm. The, but it was a lot happening. We had lots of music, kind of like very like nice cultural events in Abu Dhabi and here in Dubai. And then obviously last week we had Eid and lots of live music here. It's been, yeah, busy, but good. Yeah. <laughs> did you manage to catch the cannon? Yes. Yeah. Well, so. In, did you go to Expo or was it? No, I didn't go to Expo. It was in Abu Dhabi where, so every night, or no, that's not true. Once a week, <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> it's all right. during Ramadan, um, our team films the cannon. So I kind of like caught the kind of iftar cannon. It was wonderful. And so at the, um, at the Grand Mosque, beautiful, so oh, atmospheric, wow. really lovely, yeah. I didn't know they, did, they held it there. Yeah. You're gonna head down there. So, and Expo City was obviously amazing. That's the cannon that you saw, right? I, I did. I saw that one as well. It it, were you intensely, like insanely close? Because no. I didn't expect, I was so close, I didn't expect it. I'd seen the cannon a number of times, yeah. but I was very close. I was not not prepared for how loud it was, but it was beautiful. The dome, the Al-Wassel dome was just absolutely fascinating. Yeah, so yeah very the, well with the it. The Ramadan market, Eid market was fantastic at Expo, but we've had Ramadan, we've yes. had Eid al-Fitr, everything was fantastic, beautiful, peaceful. We want to know what we have got coming up in these kind of, as Tom said, these next couple of yeah. months where everyone's kind of 
putting as much in as possible before then our sort of summer months. So what highlights have you got? Honestly, I think we are all just going to have absolutely crammed diaries, whether it is things to be like, kind of getting out doing, buying tickets for. I know that we're going to talk a lot about things and music that's happening at the Coca-Cola. So there's a lot happening there. But then there's also just kind of like making sure that we're, we're, we're on the corner, right? Before summer. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's kind of this perfect sort of six weeks between now and um, the next Eid. And yeah, just making sure there's a lot to be doing. So at the moment, we're smack bang in the middle of Dubai Comedy Festival. Yep. And have, have any of you guys been and caught any of it yet? Not yet, but I've got my tickets to Catherine Ryan. Oh, fabulous, like fabulous. Yeah, she is very, very funny. I Yeah, I caught her. And there's so a few more people that are coming. Like Mo Gilligan is a British comedian. He is brilliant. Um, and then, do you know Spencer and Vogue? Yes. They have a podcast in the UK and Vogue Williams also has a podcast. So she, they're bringing their live show here as well. So there's heaps to be catching at the comedy festival and there's events at Dubai Opera and quite nice like at Dubai Hills Mall in the Roxy Cinema. Mm. And they're doing some of the smaller events there as well. It's interesting that a lot of these podcasts are coming, like doing tours. I know that sounds really strange, but every time they come over here, I always think, because there are some I've heard of, some I haven't. I think, how are they going to get like a sold out audience? And they do so well. And I think Spencer and Vogue are going to do exactly the same thing. Yeah, they've, yeah, they, I, I listen to Vogue's other podcast okay. that she has with um, Jeremy McNally. And so I haven't listened to Spencer and Vogue, but I know they are. It's so popular. Really yeah. So what do you have tickets to? I mean, what are you most looking for? Oh, what have I got tickets for? Put me on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us where, where you're going to be so we can hunt you I? down. <laughs> so boys to men are coming. Oh. That is a must do for me. I mean, the 13 year olds right? in us are just like freaking out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so they're coming to Coca-Cola. Um, that's amazing. And then I've also got some Cirque du Soleil tickets in Abu Dhabi. So Cirque du Soleil. Fantastic. What a feat, right? So um, yeah, I've got tickets to go catch that in a few weeks which will be a real treat and then looking a bit further ahead so this is to the end of may um hans zimmer the yeah. very famous yeah. music we uh, featured him on the show yeah ah so you guys know you're well versed yeah i mean by the sounds of it there is just so much and actually i love the way the, the fact you touched on coca-cola arena because coming up very shortly he is a friend of the show anyway we're actually going to have the general manager of the coca-cola arena coming in to discuss everything that is in store for us this coming season so we'll really delve deep there and of course we have none other than jay abbo playing us out with a new single come back soon <laughs>